Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Joey here again, and today we're gonna be doing yet another wig review. And this wig review is brought to you. Ooh, this wig review is brought to you by Main Concept. But before we get started, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today we're gonna be reviewing a unit from Main Concept. They were kind enough to send me some units to review for you guys for the month. So today, main concept, we're gonna be reviewing this wig right here, and this is in the style uh, RCT P211 Alice. So the style is called Alice. This is the stock card right here, you guys. Um, I'm not sure why, there we go, okay. This is it right here, and she is super duper beautiful. I got her in the color FR slash strawberry latte and like I said I'm super excited because this wig like the color is so beautiful I believe the girl right here she's actually wearing the color that we're going to be doing today and it's giving Beyonce is definitely giving summer I love it already now I already took the wig out which is why I have the stock car right here I took the wig out because I really wanted to just see how the fitting was but I have not cut the lace. Let's get into it. Let me go ahead and grab the um, the wig. And I'm gonna show you guys, this color is super duper gorgeous. It's just definitely giving summer and it's so different. Like I just really love the mix of colors and this is why I have such a big love for synthetic wigs because the color sometimes is super bomb depending on what brand you get it from. So this is it right here. As you guys could see, you could see some pink in there, which is where that strawberry name comes from for the color. And then it just has this beautiful, like kind of um, blonde brownish colored, and I love it. The roots are light, so I would be careful with that because of course, sometimes that could make or break a wig. This is a single part parting space. So as you guys could see, it's a single parting space, but the parting space is flawlessly done. Like I feel like just by putting some makeup on it, you should be fine. Super pre-plugged, but you do have like some extra lace in the front. So it's kind of like a T part. The parting space is five inches deep and it's HD lace. It's ear to ear lace. So you do have like some lace space right here in the front to make it look more realistic, which I do like that. You do get baby hairs, but with this wig, I will not be doing any baby hairs. I'm not a fan of baby hairs. If you wanna wear this wig as a side part, like the model's wearing it, you can go ahead. We're gonna do a nice little middle part. She does come in different colors if you guys are interested. So if you want something more natural, like a 1B or a 1, she does come in that as well. Most of the time with main concept, their hair is more cankalon and is more on the synthetic side. So I will say that with hair like this, you may just want to brush into it. It may get tangled very quick. The wig is pretty long, so I want to say the wig is probably like 30 inches. It does like touch my butt and I'm pretty sure I'm only five feet tall, so everything does always look a lot longer on me. Now, I already tried the wig cap size and I can give you guys an idea on that. So this is definitely big head friendly. I am small headed, so I tend to double cap my um, hair. And I mean, you guys can feel free to put some wig spray on this as well if you want it to like really, really, really sit nice and flat. But as you can see, it's more so towards the end where she kind of like tangles up, but all you gotta do is just brush her. I probably, because I love this wig so much, um, I probably will end up cutting her if I wear her out because the, the, the hair itself is a little too long. This wig does have combs, so you have, let's see, you have three combs in here. So you have one in the back and then you have two on the sides right here. So if you don't wanna glue her on, sis, you could just go ahead and put the combs on. So let me go ahead and put my wig on. And she's nice and snug because I adjusted my straps. Look at how beautiful this color is just sitting on my skin tone. Like this color is everything. And I've had like this color for me in synthetic wigs is I've had a couple of human hair wigs in this color. Um, 
I've had a couple of synthetic wigs in the past in this color, but this color is very hard to find. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to spray my forehead like so, like this. The fullness of this hair is not crazy. The, the density of this hair is just like really, really natural. So you're not getting like a full on density on this hair. So let me go ahead and blow dry this so that we could start playing around with the hair. It definitely will need makeup. That lace is gonna definitely, the lace is definitely gonna need some makeup. Oh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to flatten the top of this hair because I feel like up here it's a little bumpy. So this is what the parting space looks like and this is before we put any makeup on it. But I feel like she definitely is going to need some makeup because I don't think you guys could really see it on the camera, but I could definitely see it. I feel like it's too, um, it's, it's giving like a little ghostly cast. And it wasn't even the spray, it's just the lace itself is not like super like transparent. I'm trying to show you guys as well like what this looks like because I would not, so I feel like even though it has some type of lace like over here on the sides, I kind of wish that it had a little bit more lace. I really don't want the baby hairs, like I feel like the baby hairs is going to make it look more like a wig. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of makeup on this. And I'm debating if I should use my contour palette. I'm just going to probably go ahead and do that. And this is just my Morphe contour palette. And as you can see, it already is looking better with the makeup on. I feel like with the makeup, it's much better. look at that perfect there was no plucking needed or anything like that so let me go ahead and hot comb the hair at the top I forgot to show you guys what it looks like as a side part I'm so sorry guys but basically all you would have to do is just shift the part so if you really want to see it as a side part, all you have to do is just shift the part. If side parts are more of your thing, I like the middle parts better. I actually really like this wig. Um, I feel like it's pretty simple. The only thing that makes it pop is the actual color. This is very cute. Like if I'm not doing too much, I would not wear this like on during the daytime right now because we've been experiencing the last two months in Texas we've been experiencing 100 degree weather every single day with no rain at all so I would not wear this one out during the daytime because I just feel like it's too hot I need to go get some drinks or something something cute you know a nice little girls night out something something fun something fun and i would definitely cut her so let me get up so i can show you guys um what i mean let me zoom out so as you could see let me see let me move this back this chair back as you guys could see she's like pretty much sitting past my waist so she's pretty pretty long and then let me turn around let me turn around and take my mic off. This is that and this is the back. So you guys can see the complete back of the wig. This is the side. The back again. Let me show you guys the back. And I'm not really sure if any wefts are showing, but if any wefts are showing, you will see it. And honestly, if any wefts are showing, it's not really the wig's fault. It's going to be more so my fault because my hair isn't perfectly braided. And then that's it. Like, that's pretty much it. This is the wig. She's definitely giving baddie. I feel like a baddie in this. 
Um, I feel like anytime I try blonde hair, even though I naturally, not naturally, even though on my natural hair, I had blonde a couple of months ago, blonde always makes me feel like a whole different person. And this is classified to be blonde, even though it has some pink in it and some browns. But I think overall, the wig is very, very cute. I love the parting space. I love the, um, the color. The only, the only con with this wig is the texture of the wig. The length is a little long for the texture that it is. But, you know, if you're more of a fan of long hair, this one is perfect for you. If you want something more adventurous, you want to step out the box, I feel like this wig is definitely cute without giving Party City or Halloween. Another con that I will say is just the, the, the actual lace. I wish the lace was a little bit more transparent. It's workable, but I just feel like it's still, if I don't fix it, it's not really going to give me what I want it to give. Let me see something real quick because I'm trying to diminish, I'm trying to diminish that ghostly color. So all I had to do was really put my uh, contouring color there. So a little bit of a darker color there and I'm fine. So I would advise this that if you're doing your makeup, what you could do is you can put your regular powder color right here or concealer color. You can put it right here. But then your, um, your contouring color, run it along your forehead so that it's blending in and it's diminishing that ghostly um, color that the lace has. Because I feel like if you are a darker skin tone than I am, then the lace is going to significantly show a lot more. And you definitely don't want that. So with that being said, just put like your contouring color around here and you should be fine. But let me know what you guys think about this wig, Miss Alice. Let me know what you think about her. Make sure that you guys follow me on Instagram at Peralta Knows Best. I will be putting it below. And I do appreciate Main Concept for sending me this wig to review for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you plan on getting this wig, I hope that this review is helpful as well. Also, make sure that you comment and like this video as it does help with the algorithm and feel free to share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys soon.